It's a modern piece of technology some police officers in the city of Syracuse are carrying with them. Body-worn cameras. They gain a lot of attention when the chief shared publicly the results Monday of the department's review into that controversial arrest. Police body cameras giving new perspectives into the stop. News Channel 9's Jeff Kulikowski is giving us a behind-the-scenes look at those devices. Syracuse police have been using this particular style of body camera on a free trial basis for about a year. Even though not every officer wears one during this phase, SPD has already collected about 50,000 images it's storing right now. Cameras are one perspective. Um, generally, though, people put a significant amount of weight in, in digital media evidence. I understand that. But again, it, it is one perspective. The policy is pretty clear. The officer uses it with almost every citizen encounter and activates it when practical. So this could be a, a typical traffic stop. You've asked me to, to just step out of the car and, and come over, and uh, Sergeant Malinowski's also come to the scene as well. You have a perspective with your camera. He has another perspective as well. Correct, yeah, and this is one of the things that I mentioned before about the limitations and capabilities, is that it's a great piece of evidence, but I can, I can turn my head away from, from you and then obviously look at Sergeant Malinowski and back, and the camera might still be oriented toward, towards you. At the same time, there's a perspective where now I'm moving my hands to talk to you, mm -hmm. and I might be coming in front of the lens and obstructing the lens of, of the camera in terms of now this, is, this might be something that you can't see on the video. But at the same time now, uh, Sergeant Malinowski has a perspective from his camera, mm -hmm. right? So he has multiple. Uh, areas of, uh, or angles right. from his from his own perspective, his own personal perspective, and the perspective of the camera. But key to remember, you can't see everything just because of the the body cameras. That's correct. That's now, a great demonstration, by the way. Yeah, Detective Russ and uh, Sergeant Malinowski really super spent a lot of time with us. Now, Christy, there's there's virtually no way to destroy or alter that original video short of destroying those actual body cameras. Now, the images, they are uploaded to the cloud. We all hear about the cloud. They're stored there security, securely. There's no line officer that can touch them. Mm. Uh, if there is a request for a copy, and that's granted, someone higher up the chain may have to redact, blur some faces, things like that. But that only happens to a copy. The original video is never altered. Yeah, because you have to keep that for the integrity of the mm -hmm. case for court Absolutely. purposes. How long do the images stay there? Yeah, it's a minimum of six years. Uh, some crimes and incidents, they plan on keeping that video forever. Mm. Um, we're going to have a lot more on this coming up at 6 o'clock. Things that SPD has learned from that highly publicized yeah. incident on Gray Street that they're looking to work into their policy and also how the cameras record a little more than you may think. And it's it's a good thing. We'll explain more on that at 6 o'clock tonight. Terrific insight. We appreciate it, Jeff. We'll watch for your report yep. tonight at 6. Excellent.